Hey guys, Captain Smash here with another uh, smashing session here. Today's topic is you are too damn comfortable. All right, so one reason you're in the gym, you're going through the motions, you're not really getting anything out of it. You know, you're hitting the elliptical and doing your little 45 minutes of cardio. You walk over the bench press and power out a few sets. All that's fine and dandy. However, if you really want results, then why are you getting so comfortable with your workout? So most people are just pretty much too damn comfortable for their own good. They don't know the difference between in, you know, having an intense physical workout and getting something out of it versus you know, just going in, doing their little bench press, doing their little bicep curls, and then hitting the elliptical. All right. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, everyone, every time you walk into the gym, you should just crush yourself and just be totally annihilated. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is if you are complacent with your workouts, you're not going to go anywhere. It's a simple fact. You have to be focused and driven to get somewhere. And if you're never pushing the margins, you're not going to go anywhere. It's fine to have those like little bench park workouts where you know you're just taking your time and doing your thing and getting you know some numbers on the board. But working out is physically tough, all right? It helps you get more mentally tough when you do challenging workouts. And like mental toughness is part of the game. The the harder you train, the more resilient you become and the more your mental focus increases. Your mental toughness is a direct correlation to how hard you're physically working in the gym in order to get to a certain goal set. If you're just going in for general health reasons, sure, that's fine. But one reason why this plan doesn't work and we have such an obesity epidemic is because people don't know how to push themselves. They don't know how to get up to an 8 or 9 on a scale of RPE. That's rating of perceived exertion. It should be tough. Training and workouts should be tough. They don't always have to be tough. They don't always have to be the insane CrossFit workout of the day or, you know, the the insanity type stuff. But they should be tough for that certain individual. So, life is pain, basically boils down to. Um, one of my favorite quotes from Gina Davis off the Long Kiss Goodnight was, Life is pain. You know, she's, she's a... Um, uh, a top secret agent that forgot who she was and she became like this big soccer mom and then all of a sudden she's thrown back into the world that she was in and now she has to get tough in order to survive and today people are lacking the will to survive they don't want to get better they don't have they don't have the the fathom of thinking outside the box and going you know what maybe I should make this hard on myself and that's the entire goal of training, making things tough so that you stress the body out enough to improve. If you're not stressing the body out just a little bit more than you were the last time, you're not going to get better. It's a step-by-step -step process and it's progressive. It's not, you know, zero to 60 or zero to hero in, you know, 60 seconds flat. It's not like that. But if you're not progressively making things more and more difficult on your body, you're never going to see results and you're never going to get better. <clears throat> All right, so one of the popular quotes in my gym today is get used to being uncomfortable. That's how your workout should feel. You should feel slightly uncomfortable. You should be pushing the margins. Every once in a while, you want to take that eight or nine RPE scale. Hit the margins. Challenge yourself. You know, do an insane CrossFit workout. Just see where you stand. But you have to push and get there. It's going to be tough and it's going to cause some pain. So I try not to let people, you know, think of this as pain. It's just their body working, but it's physically going to be tough. And everyone's going to have their own level. Don't get me wrong. But if you're never jumping outside that box and pushing the threshold of intensity, you're just spinning your wheels. So, you know, just put down the bread and stop the stop the stair climbing. Put down the bench press and stop the bicep curls altogether. Because you're not doing anything beneficial for your body by just going through the motions. So, get out there. Push some heavy weights. 
Stop being complacent and stop thinking that training doesn't hurt because it does. You should be uncomfortable. 